Hey everybody, Lord Cinder here, and today's video is something that I've wanted to do for a while, and it's kind of obvious that's going to happen on this channel, let's, let's be honest here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys kind of all my hockey stuff. I'll be honest, most of it is Edmonton Oilers stuff, so you guys shouldn't be too surprised, considering you guys know that I do really like my Edmonton Oilers. So without further ado, I'm going to kind of be showing you my collection, hockey collection. It won't be every single thing, of course, but it'll just be the majority of it. Basically, all the stuff that I'm not including in this video are just like cups and water bottles. Let's jump right into this. So to start off, most of the stuff, well not most, but a lot of the stuff that I have that is Oilers or hockey related is either usually up on the side of the door here or actually back in the closet or my usual filming area. We'll start up here because <laughs> these are my toques. So this toque I got uh, this past Christmas and it's just got the logo on it and a little pom-pom at the top. It's really nice. It's really soft and it came with a set of mitts but they're in my closet and I don't want to get them because I've put all my like winter stuff away. The next toque that I have is Probably one of the most awesome things that I have the pleasure of owning. So obviously, the Oilers got into the playoffs this year after 11 years at the local sports store. They came out with toques, really nice toques, yeah, Oilers. But there's a beard attached. <laughs> it is, okay, I gotta show you guys. You're supposed to kind of wear it like this. If you put it on a certain way, it actually goes up. Um... Oh, I just look bald. Okay, so roughly like that. I'm not gonna lie. I went to school. I went to school with this on, like, when they first started off in their playoff run. Oh, the looks and comments I got. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny, but uh, it's really cool. Uh, the last toque that I have is one of the most significant things that I own. It means a lot to me, which you'll kind of find out a little more later in the video. And so this toque... Nothing too special, but it's uh, the Heritage Classic version. So, as you can see, on the back of the toque, make sure I get that on camera, it's got the Heritage Classic logo. So those are the toques, and then I have my hats. <laughs> I wear hats a lot. So, this hat, it's like an older kind of style one. I really like it. I got this one a while ago, but it's too big for my head. This is um, <laughs> one of my favorites. I love this hat so much. I love all my hats, but this one is definitely one of my favorites. It's this really cool hat. It's got the lace across the top and logo at the bottom. It's got the stripes on the side. It's a snapback. So that's what it looks like on the inside. And then the bottom is just Euler's logo. And I freaking love it. <laughs> it's so different. I've never seen anything like it and it's really nice. Next up is a hat that I wear really often. It's got like stains on it. Yeah. And it's this like navy blue Oilers hat. So sides and then on this side it's just got the Stanley Cup ears. It's pretty dope. I love it. And my last hat is the first Oilers hat that I ever got which is it's just a plain hat. It's my Reebok. And you know I've had it for I've had this since grade six. And I got it on a band trip. This is where the obsession gets really bad, so... So here are my keys, right? House keys. My lanyard is Oilers. Okay, not surprising. And then the freaking key is Oilers, too. I have an addiction. I'm not afraid to admit it. And a sick pen, which is a hockey stick. <laughs> It, this is so sad. I keep this in my purse because I don't have any pens in there. And uh, it's pretty good. It writes really well. Speaking of hockey sticks, this has been here the whole time. I'm going to back the camera up so you can see this beautiful hockey stick. So this hockey stick is, it's not mine because let's look at the height. <laughs> like it's taller than me, let's be honest. This hockey stick is not mine. This is my dad's. He used to play hockey in like the 80s. Yeah, the 80s. As you can tell by the way that it sounds when I do this, it is, it's wood. It's a wood hockey stick. This is what he used to use um, when he played hockey in the 80s. My dad used to coach as well. When he played, he played as a 
right wing. As you can see, we have this beautiful tape job at the top. It's pretty nice, and you can see that it's definitely, like, used and worn out. And then the bottom. Oh, I do get, I could try not to hit anything. This is what the bottom looks like. Yeah, pretty good tape job. It's cool. That's the hockey stick. It's really nice, and I hope I can get a hockey stick eventually. My own, so I don't break his. Let's move on to the big stuff. <laughs> so now I'm going to be behind the camera so I can show you guys the stuff. So I'll start from all the way back over here. So this is, <laughs> it looks like a blanket, but it's actually a Snuggie. And we also have an Oilers blanket. Uh, then over here we just have, you know, two pairs of pajama pants. Um, if you've been with my channel for a long time, you'll recognize those ones. Because I got those in 2013 and then I got these ones recently. Then over here I just have like a, a, a banner. I don't know exactly what it is. I'm just going to refer to it as a flag or a banner. I don't know. Um, it keeps falling down from my wall. So I got to find a, find a new way to hang it up. So then uh, right below the flag banner, whatever. Um, I just have a pillow pet. I don't know. I thought it was cool. It's pretty cute. It's really fluffy. So then here I have all my hockey cards. There's a lot. And keep in mind that these are um, three by threes. The front and the backs are covered. If you want me to do a video where I show you all of the hockey cards that I do have, let me know and I would love to do that. So these are kind of like my t-shirts and just hoodies, all that kind of stuff that I own. So I have just had this t-shirt. It says Edmonton Oilers and it shows the year that they were established, so 1979. Um, it's a really nice material. Um, it's really soft. There's nothing on the back, so... Then, <laughs> this shirt, okay, uh, I got this shirt after the Stanley Cup run, the playoff run, I guess you could say, that Edmonton had. Anyways, it says, um, of course, it says, because it's a cup, it says Stanley Cup playoffs 2017. I wanted to get something that had the year on it. There's that. There's nothing on the back of this one. So this shirt in particular is my favorite shirt of all time. I wear it so often. Everybody knows who's on the back. You will learn by the end of this video that I have a slight obsession with Jordan Eberle. <laughs> but anyways, moving on to the next shirt. This one um, was a recent one. My parents just got back from a trip out by Edmonton. So they stopped in the Oilers store and bought me this shirt. There's a C. So obviously on the back, it's none other than... Connor McDavid. Okay, so now we have another oiler shirt. Very, very, very significant, along with that toque that I showed you earlier. As you can tell, there's a C on it. Oh, that must be another Connor McDavid thing. No, guys, it's not. It is the best player that has ever lived. It's Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> there's a story behind this shirt, and same with the toque. I'll talk a little bit about it near the end of the video, like I said. So before I carry on with the next clothing item, I almost forgot I do have like a little necklace that I wear sometimes. Along with the necklace, I also do have a watch. I wear this watch every single day of my life. I've had it for two years. So the next thing that I have here is this huge hoodie. It's a guy's hoodie. Um, it's really, 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 really soft and so comfy. It's more so a hoodie for winter. And the last thing that I have here is actually my Oilers Christmas sweater. It looks really good. Um, and it's really comfy too. Very soft material. And it's just, it's just gorgeous. So yeah, uh, we'll move on to the jerseys now. Okay, so now we're moving on to the jerseys. So right off the bat, we have an Anaheim Mighty Ducks jersey. Which, I'll be perfectly honest, this is my... One of my all-time favorite jerseys because, you know, it, it it's so different and it's cute. I love it. <laughs> when my dad got it, it came actually with a pair of hockey socks, which, that's pretty lit. That's pretty freaking cool. So, the next one here is um, the California Golden Seals. And I'm not going to put too much history 
about the team because I myself has have forgotten a lot of things about it. So the next jersey is the old Tampa Bay Lightning jersey when they were referred to as the Bolts. I honestly think this is one of the nicest jerseys. I really like this one. It's really plain, simple. It's black. I love black jerseys. They look great. And just the patches that they had on the shoulders too. Very, very nicely done. So the next jersey, as you can tell, is the Winnipeg Jets. I really, really like the Winnipeg one. Um, it's just so different and it, it's so pretty. Um, I love the patches on the shoulders. They're really nicely done. And also at the top it says Winnipeg. And I really, I just really like their jerseys. So now we have my um, Team Canada jersey, which you guys have seen before. If you've watched my Canada Day vlog, I wore this for a majority of the video. Um, it's got the patch here on the side, Canada 150. Um, I mainly got this jersey because of Canada Day, and it also is kind of like a memorable thing, re memorable thing for me. Um, you know, the 150, that's, that's pretty big. So now we're moving on to the Oilers jerseys. This is, um, Taylor Hall's jersey. Now, I've never been a huge fan of Taylor Hall, um, but that's just my personal opinion. This is his jersey. It's got the A on the side. There's his number four. I'll show you the back. There is the back of the jersey, his number four. So now we have my favorite jersey that I have. Well, one of my favorites. It's my boy, <laughs> Jordan Everly, number 14. Um, ah, his sleeve won't unfold. This is too difficult. Jordan Everly, like I had mentioned, is my, my favorite oiler. I have no words about the trade. Uh, <laughs> so... There's Eberly, there's the 14. The next jersey I have is my oldest jersey that I own. It's very special to me. I've had it since grade three. That was when I really started to appreciate the Oilers and really kind of become slightly interested. My interest really peaked when I was in like grade seven, eight, nine. It really just shot up. And then grade 10, I've just been obsessed. Recently where I lived, we had um, an event where you could meet Matt Benning and Dave Semenko, who has since then passed away. Um, I decided to take that jersey and get them to sign it, which that's what I have here. This is my old jersey with the signatures. There's uh, Matt Benning's, who is, you know, 83. And then we have Dave Semenko, who was an amazing hockey player and will definitely be missed by Oilers fans for sure who wore number 27. That's all for the jerseys. Now we'll kind of move on to the other stuff. So when you move next to my bed, I have an Oilers calendar. And for right now, it's Cam Talbot, which I am a-okay with. Right above it, um, I have two signatures um, by two awesome hockey players. At school, uh, we had a presentation by two hockey players, um, Reggie Leach and Jamie Leach. When they came to our school and they were kind of talking to us about things and like decisions you make and how it can overall affect your life and that kind of stuff. Now Reggie, Reggie Leach, he played with the Philadelphia Flyers back when they were known as the Broad Street Bullies and he won the Stanley Cup with them. Now Jamie Leach, he won two Stanley Cups. He played for the Pittsburgh Penguins when Mario Lemieux was with them. So, I actually have a picture with them, which I'll put up in the corner here. So, yeah, it was a really awesome experience. They were really nice, and yeah, let's continue on. This is the part of the room that I like to call my hockey shrine, because there's so much stuff over here. So, we'll start up here with <laughs> Mr. Wayne Gretzky. Hi, you can see me. Hello. We have a picture of Wayne Gretzky hoisting the cup. So yeah, I'll just give you guys a close up. I'm trying to get rid of that glare, but you can still see my room. And Gretzky, Edmonton Oilers. Now right next to Gretzky, off of this thingy, I have a little figure of Henrik Lundqvist. Really nice, well done figure. 
I have a few more of these, so you'll be seeing more. So right above my bed, I have this ginormous panoramic photo. Um, I'll kind of walk back a little bit, so it's it's pretty big. That's my wall, and it takes up most of it. But basically, this is one of the last games that was played at uh, Rexall before they went over to Roger's place, and it's it's hella cool. So over here, I just have an Oilers Christmas ornament. So we actually have the another ornament in the back here. Uh, this one's glass, so I like to be very careful with that. And behind the ornament, we have like just a picture of the Edmonton Oilers logo. Okay, bouncing back over here, I have one of the pom-poms from the playoff run. I got the pom-pom. <laughs> Funny story, I've never been to an Edmonton game. So, um, I got the pom-pom when I went to go see Benning and Semenko. They were handing them out because they had a lot extra. <laughs> then over here, um, this is met mostly the metro <laughs> spot except for the little Cory Perry, but whatever. Um, so back there we just have a New York Rangers picture. Then here we have a Pittsburgh Penguins puck. Uh, the puck kind of goes along with another thing that's up here. So I also have a figure of Alex Ovechkin. Like I said, little Corey Perry. Then I'll move over here. We have a Connor McDavid figure, of course. And we also have a little Ans Kopitar. Right behind McDavid we have an outlet. No, but, um, we also have a puck which I got when I was in Ottawa for a band trip. I ended up getting this puck when I was in the Parliament buildings. Then here, of course, we have a Jordan Eberle figure, which he's in this weird pose. So Jordan Eberle, he came with a puck, so I just kind of like tacked it on there. So over here, I have my, my first Oilers puck. That's pretty, it's pretty cool. Then I have also a Lanny McDonald figure. I love Lanny. He's one of my favorite players of all time. So back here. I have a photograph that is signed by Carter Rowney. Um, I actually got the opportunity to meet him and it was a very interesting experience. It goes along with the Pittsburgh puck. So back here I just have two Oilers calendars from like the past couple years. Yeah. Then back behind that I have a Hockey Hall of Fame book. And then in front of the Hockey Hall of Fame book I have um, a magazine on prospects from last year, the toque and that one shirt, the Gretzky shirt, they're very significant because of this. Um, I actually, because of this book, I had the opportunity to meet Wayne Gretzky. It was amazing. I'll just show you the autograph on the inside real fast. I'll do a story time of it in like the next couple months or so. I don't know. We'll see. So um, it says to Shona, love Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, that's that. So that's the end of today's video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, put the comments. Um, if there are any stories that you want to hear that I mentioned of, just let me know. And I would love to tell them. Or if you have any questions on um, where I got certain things, I will definitely let you know in the comments. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. But yeah, until then, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!